All right, so we finished week four of our new algae trial. Things have come in, coming along pretty good here. Not a whole lot of change here from, from last week. Um, really awesome with the with the polyp extension on these corals. Fantastic. Slow going with some algae removal. It's um, things are looking good though. I've actually been in error with a few of my um, my identification of some of these algae. So see if I can go over them. See how fast we can do this. Um, so yeah, week four has been good. Not a lot of change here. We're not seeing a whole lot of algae drop yet. Um, it's sure stalled though, like it's not going any further and that's, I'm so glad for that. Um, now again, our goal is to really remove what I initially thought was some bryopsis. I don't know what the heck, I was dealing with big bryopsis problems prior to a magnesium spike I did, a couple of those. And I just forgot what the stuff looked like. Um, I have a different type of algae, that's my main grief here, but yeah, we'll go over the whole tank. Things looking good. Have not cleaned my uh, inside of my glass here or the outside for that matter for let's do here water change was Saturday so I usually scrub the glass Friday here is, is my routine so I have not cleaned the glass since Friday these are looking all right little bit of some some algae growth on the inside of the glass wall there I think I'm getting it for you guys um, but not too bad all in all pretty good um, Mostly, I guess, what issues I'm having right now is the green hair algae that we're seeing up on side of that power head. That's giving me some grief. Other than that, I was having big problems with what I thought was bryopsis algae. Um, and it's not. It's dictoyota, if that's the right way of saying it. Dictoyota, dict whatever. Um, it's the forked branching one that we can see pretty prominently happily growing out of that section right there. And in fact, I think we're seeing some periphera sponge just above that also. Um, I think that this piece of live rock has got it all. Short of taking the oxy torch to this piece, nothing is gonna kill it. Um, there's chondria on there. You can see the bubble algae. Fortunately, there is no cyano. Dictoita is my problem, absolutely. Um, yeah, so bubble algae, chondrias. I've got some of the green wiry algae. It's called a phoropsis, I think. Um, <clears throat> there's some red wiry turf in there also. I've got some green stuff sprouting here that I don't know. I think it's Calothrix. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that. Definitely you can pick up some chondria. Really wiry growth in there. No flagellites, thankfully. And no cyano problems. What I do see is lobophora. And throughout the tank, I've got, you know, if I come on down to here, you can see some lobophora, just a little disc of it. I don't mind the stuff. It's kind of colorful, purpley. It's probably not good, but I don't seem to mind the lobophora. But it's certainly growing for me, I think, unfortunately. Yeah, bubble algae and some, some hair algae. I don't seem to have a lot of turf, um, nor film algae, no cyano, and no diatoms. So I don't know, that's where I'm at with my algae stuff here, guys. We've got lots of that going on. And I'm eager to put that piece in a sump. You know, I'd love to fire up a sump down here underneath of my tank, would be nice. As small and tight as that might seem here. Um, it'd give me the opportunity to get a few of these pieces of initial live rock out of here. I want gone. That one's doing fine, but my gosh. I mean, I just want to light it on fire. It's also the most interesting pieces in my tank, surprisingly. You know, you're not going to get any surprises out of much anything else, but my God, live rock is full of surprises, all right. So, yeah, um, no big changes for this week continued um, you know slowing of algae growth there's no fresh growth it seems um, and yeah looking forward to hopefully some reductions here but uh, yeah time will tell time will tell let's get over to the reef tank pro app I'll show you guys what's up with the numbers 
Let's roll back to Wednesday of last week, our last new algae dose. So here we were, dose three. Oops. Let's try this with the other hands. Fifth. I think we've gone actually too far back. We've gone back two weeks. There is dose four, I should have started here. So we see measurements for the 10th, 11th. Saturday the 12th, you can see that the measurements occur. And the daily dosing was that water change and filter change, of course. And uh, yeah, Sunday, <clears throat> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's where we're at. Update complete.